Do you ever find yourself just sitting and scrolling endlessly on Netflix or Hulu or Apple TV to try and find something to watch? Probably something like this. Who am I kidding? Of course you do. I mean, you are human after all, and it seems like these streaming services just truly don't know what we enjoy, and they don't know how to make recommendations. Well, I have the solution for you. Yes, ChatGPT can actually help with this. Now, it's a little bit more complex than just asking it for some recommendations. You gotta, you gotta get, you gotta get in the nitty gritty and, and give it some real, real juicy details. And you can start off with a super simple prompt like recommend five movies like The Prestige, and truthfully, you're gonna get a pretty basic response back. I don't know about you, but I've seen all of these movies. I've seen Inception, I've seen The Illusionist, Shutter Island, Memento, Fight Club. I mean, these are blockbuster films after all. Many of them were nominated for Oscars. If, if you're a movie buff at all, you've definitely seen these movies. So we gotta get a little bit further into the details and actually provide it more information with some advanced chat GPT prompting. Now before I get into that, if you want to access the prompt that I'm about to show you, hit the link down in the description. It'll take you to a page called everydays.wtf where you can just copy and paste this exact prompt and start finding movies that you will actually enjoy. So this is what my prompt looks like. As you can see, it's way more in depth than the previous prompt. However, when you take a little time to fill out this prompt and you come back with five movie recommendations that you likely have never even heard of, but have phenomenal ratings and they fit exactly what you're interested in. Personally, I'm a fan of movies like Inherent Vice, Shutter Island, and The Prestige. You know, these are movies where there's really no linear storytelling and it's kind of all over the place and by the time you finish watching, you really have no idea what just happened and you're left with more questions than answers. That's the type of movie I enjoy and I can never seem to get those recommendations on Hulu or Netflix or what have you. And also I've seen quite a few movies and honestly, I've never heard of any of these. Coherence, Predestination, The Fall, The Vanishing, Time Crimes. I think what's cool about this too is, you know, Time Crimes is a Spanish language film. So it's also going to find movies that you might not normally have found maybe in a different language. I'm not gonna go through each one of these five recommendations, but just take my word for it when I say these films really do have that same confusing ethos as like an Inception or or Inherent Vice or The Prestige, which is exactly what I look for in a, mo in a great movie. These are always some of my favorite movies, the ones that I just really am confused by and cannot understand by the end of it because I enjoy re-watching them and then learning something new. And every time I watch it, it builds upon it. All five of these have hit my hit list and I think I owe it all to this prompt. So like I said, if, if you wanna be able to copy and paste this prompt and use it for yourself so you can customize it and find some great movie recommendations and hit the link down in the description, you'll be able to easily replicate exactly what I've done here today. I think what's also cool about this prompt is you can play around with it a bit to have it focus primarily on something like cinematography or the acting style or even the time period that things are set in. If there are certain things about certain movies that you really enjoy. So it really gives a lot of room for customization while still having that main point being, hey, find me something that I have not even thought of before. Now at this point, you're probably like, well, I only have one streaming service. I only subscribe to Netflix or I only subscribe to Hulu. Does this work for those as well? And so yes, I re-engineered this prompt to do it specifically for a streaming service. In this case, I used Hulu as an example. In order to use this prompt, you do need to have access to the, the web browsing feature which is only available to ChatGPT Plus users. Having said that, after you roll the prompt again, it struggles, I'm not gonna lie, I, I won't fib to you. It comes back with movie recommendations and most of them aren't on Hulu, to be completely frank with you, which was a little bit disappointing, but if you continuously re-roll it, it does end up coming up with some that do fit that streaming service. So in this case, you know, identity is on Hulu. Compared to the, the first try, you know, 21 grams, is not available on Hulu. And so we can chalk this up to the fact that truly there's no easy way to search what streaming provider a certain movie or TV show is on. I mean, I know that you've probably searched for a specific movie on a streaming service before and realized how complex of a process it is. And oftentimes the streaming service even lies to you and is like, oh yeah, movies like this. I think ChatGPT struggles to know exactly what movies or TV shows are offered on a streaming service. However, if you just continuously re-roll it, it will eventually give you some that do fit what you're looking for and they are actually on that streaming provider. The cool thing too is that you can take this prompt and actually just change out movie 
to TV show, and now this also works for TV shows. So if you're more of a series person, then you can actually use this exact same prompt to surface series that are similar to ones that you've really enjoyed. So once again, if you want to access this prompt and be able to just make it easy on yourself and copy and paste the prompt into ChatGPT, then hit that link down in the description. I spent almost half a day fine tuning this prompt to make sure that it worked. I tried probably about a dozen different variations and a lot of them came up pretty bad. So this one works and if you want it to work for you, hit that link down in the description. Outside of recommendations though, I did want to leave you off with one one funny uh, uplifting thing. Apparently ChatGPT is not just great at recommending movies, but it also can recommend movie titles. This Reddit user, Brand New Logic, had an experiment renamed the Harry Potter books as clickbait YouTube titles. <laughs> Boy finds out he's a wizard, you won't believe what happens next. Ten mind-blowing spells that will change your life. Or this one I liked. Magic love triangle exposed. Who will Harry choose? I mean, those are, those are definitely fitting the, uh, the YouTube clickbait. Uh, so great work on that prompt there. Overall, I think that this is a great use case for ChatGPT. I mean, I know that we all struggle to find things that we're interested in watching and we, and there's no worse feeling in the world than when you commit yourself to watching a movie and then about halfway through you're like, man, this sucks. Why am I watching this? This has nothing to do with the interest that I enjoyed. And, you know, Netflix was way off on recommending this. So if you're tired of wasting time consuming things that you don't enjoy, use ChatGPT, use the prompt that I have included in the link below to, you know, find the stuff that you're actually going to enjoy watching. Thanks for making it through this video with me. I appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed it and you find some value in it, hit the hit the like button and if you want to subscribe every single day I'm coming back with another way to utilize ChatGPT for your benefit. So until next time, keep exploring, stay curious and don't forget to involve AI in some way.